um, on the trust, uh, how do you establish trust? Um, there's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, but I really get into the details uh, and show the team and stakeholders that I understand our users deeply. I understand the market and I know what the strategy and goals are for the business. Uh, on a customer side, I feel like we really, this was a transition over a period of many years, but got to the point where we were trying to spend, I was trying to spend 50% of all of my working time and in direct interactions with customers. Didn't always get to that, but tried to be at least like 25 to 30%, which is really hard given all the meetings and, and such that you have. Um, so that's everything from sitting on sales calls to like actively selling in sales calls to being on like really early stage discovery about new products or new features that we're considering far out in the future to feedback on uh, a prototype feature that we're considering in like the next sprint to just sitting on like customer success calls and hearing what pain points are coming up with customers. Um, I think once you have that like really deep knowledge of the customer and all the various teams see that you understand the personas and the customers so deeply, like they will trust the decisions that you make because you have good data, you have lots of things, but at the end, you often need to make judgment calls. And like, if you don't understand the users, people are not going to trust you. Um, uh, another aspect of trust is just the ability to execute and get shit done and be successful and have wins that you can point to. Um, success begets success and people trust you if you can uh, continue to uh, achieve and meet the goals that you set. And then trust that you are going to put the team uh, and the business ahead of your own personal goals, ambitions, and, and such. So, so that's trust. Uh, and